Oh, uh, you know what? Um, just cornflakes and small orange juice, please. That's it? Yeah, there's just no more room left for food. <laughs> I'm eating like a horse. Well, twins, they're squishing my stomach. I just have one, it's squishing more than that. Meg, I can't read this. What's this say? Two over medium? Large coffee to go, please. Sure. Hey, morning, Carol. Hi. What? I think you have shaving cream on your earlobe. Oh. Thank you. How is Mark? Clean shaven. That's oh. twice in one morning. I'm sorry. Just clean it up. And get this guy another order. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. without coffee. Oh, you know, it's not so bad. It's actually the, uh, growing out of my maternity wear that's starting to worry me. Not to worry. You'll drop a couple of those pounds breastfeeding. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Here. Oh, thank you. Not easy maneuvering, is it? No. Do you know what you're having? No. Nothing on the ultrasound? I haven't had one. Oh, you really should. It's important for the baby. Who's your OB? I gotta pick up an order. You do have an OB. My boss is gonna yell at me again. <laughs> Can I borrow your pencil and your pad? I'm a nurse at County. I'm gonna write down my name. You should come by after your shift. We'll examine you and check out the baby. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I don't have insurance or anything. It's okay. Where I work, you don't need it. Do you think I should find out the sex? Well, everyone's different. Some people like to know, some people don't. What are you having? I don't know. Oh, come on. You know. You're a nurse, so... Seems like you'd know, that's all. Well, I figure there are a few really true surprises in life. This is for your scrapbook. Thanks. Everything okay? Fine. A little small for 32 weeks. We'll put you on some prenatal vitamins. It's not too late for that. Meg, are you smoking? No. I mean... Not a lot. You know, it's really bad for the baby. It can cause prematurity, low birth weight. I know, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just really stressed. You know, I lost that stupid job. At Doc Magoo's? I didn't move fast enough. Excuse me, you know, I'm seven months pregnant. Well, you know, I could call a social worker, see if they could get you some aid. How about here? Do they need people here? Maybe the cafeteria? I don't know. I I could check, I guess. That'd be great. Thanks. If you promise to stop smoking. Deal. Viola Simpson. She said she was glad you had food experience. Was she glad to hear I was pregnant? Well, glad's an overstatement, but she didn't seem to care. Your appointment's at 5.30. Oh, that gives me plenty of time. I can pick up the rest of my stuff at Magoo's and still get home and, and change. Thanks, Mrs. Hathaway. Oh, it's Carol, and you're welcome. Let me know how it goes. Hey, and stay off those cigarettes. Uh, Scout's honor. I'm sure it's a mistake. See you, Mark. Uh, you taking off? Yeah, I've got to go home, soak my feet and the rest of my body. Carol? Meg, how did it go? I screwed up. What happened? I missed the interview. I, I thought you said 6.30, but it was 5.30, and I, I blew it. But it's not true. I, I couldn't go through with it. Why not? No one wants to hire a pregnant woman. And I can't blame them. I mean, why should I waste their time? It's not like I'm not going to quit in a month anyway. Meg, stop. We're going to go there together and work something out, okay? Okay. 